people. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, sun setting here in Colorado. Uh, 8.24 and it's right at Sabbath time here. And I was out today so I didn't get back to do a video before now. But I just wanted to do a quick mission report. Uh, and I'm going to just play this real quickly. But I want to do a quick mission report coming from Kaka Mecca, Kenya. How long will it be till we see the coming of the Son of Man? How long will it be till Yah comes to destroy them wicked men? How long will it be till Babylon is taken from our land? At the end of this age when we come to the stage when he judges with his hand. Oh, we gotta move on. We gotta press on for the prize of our lives. Yahushua HaMoshiach, through up Adonai. I put on the full armor so I can't put up a fight Most people go along with some people who are wrong But I'm singing this song, waiting for the break of dawn No, I won't go back to who I used to be I'll stay in harmony with the one who set me free I'm a debtor to mercy, hungry and thirsty, ready for your kingdom come I'm holding on firmly, I know that you're worthy Father, let your will be done Shatter back and mentality Prepare our people for a state of emergency How long will it be till we see the coming of the Son of Man? Yes, how long, how long, how long? Thank you, Darian. That's coming from Devoted to Yah. You people have heard me play a song before. Uh, I will always put his, the work down in the description box if you want to go see some of his other songs. And um, he also have a box where you can donate to him. Uh, I just think it's a wonderful uh, gift that he has. So anyway, yeah, how long will it be? How long will it be, people? I, I mean, you know, I've been asking myself that question. Every day I'm asking myself that question. Uh, we are going to be doing missions coming from Kaka Mecca, <laughs> K-A-K-A-M-E-G-A. -E if I'm not pronouncing that right, uh, Pastor uh, Leonard Weir, uh, he's over in uh, Kaka Mecca, <clears throat> and uh, he wrote me this letter this morning, uh, about ten hours ago, uh, early this morning. Uh, he said, "Praise the Lord, we have finished the work of today." Uh, we, uh, give God all the glory for your support and prayers. 22 people, you know, yesterday I was showing you, uh, where he had uh, about 30 some people. Now he had another additional 22 people, uh, who gave their life to Yeshua, Yahweh, uh, Shalom. He says five women with money to pay food for their children. It is sad today to see a child crying out for food three days without eating anything. My brothers and sisters. I have something to put on the table. Praise the Lord. People are suffering in this world. When you are out there, you can you cannot see anything till until you visit them. But it is good to visit them, uh, their homes, and you will see what's going on in their houses. I give out what I have today to help people in need. Today, uh, we will sleep without food. You hear that, people? They are sleeping without food because they are giving people something to eat. I can't eat. I can't even, he say, I can't eat and see children crying for food. There are days I, I, I'm, I'm parent, to, they, I'm parents too. <clears throat> we pray to God to open the door of heaven for the support for five days in Kakamekka on missions. Thank you so much for your support and prayers and send some photos. Uh, he sent us some photos for the two windows and children playing after missions. Um, our children plan after eating food. I'm sorry that we bay uh, shalom. You can see one woman is happy. I gave her uh, money to buy food. Uh, you can see she is happy cooking food for her children on the photo. And also you can see on the photo, a woman carrying something on her head. And I give her money to buy food, holding money in the hand. She is happy. We give God all the glory. You can see uh, the tree bridge bud rots and eat houses. Uh, let me see, houses. I guess people live here. So I'm going to show you a few pictures. Uh, uh, well, Leonard uh, took me, he, he gave me two sets of pictures from yesterday. So I will show you the ones he couldn't send me yesterday. Uh, and then I will show you the other pictures. Okay, if I can get them here to go. Um, 
I think this is a video. I was sure it's just a little short video Amen. Um, Amen. out in the field there. And then, um, let me see here. Um, I'll take that one out of the way. Let's see here. Make sure I don't clip nothing off wrong. Uh, and so this is the other pictures here. Let me see, could I pull that down? I should be able to click those picture, pictures over. Yeah, I ever did I did that last time. I can I messed it up again. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to click here if I can, if I don't mess this up. Uh they out here in the fields. You can see the children here in the fields. Uh you can see them walking here all across the area. Uh this is well, look at the wood little, little bridge they made to go across the the pond here. Uh and then you have um just the huts. You can see how the people can what the people conditions are as they live in this place. Uh, Kaka Mega Kenya. Uh, the animals. Uh, you can see a few animals walking around, and it just you can see a lot of uh, poverty around the areas. Uh, here they are having a meet and a fellowship together. Uh, Leonard was saying they had fellowship together. Uh, and then they have here. Uh, yeah, just some more pictures here. And so you can kind of see how many people there is. I guess these are the out bathrooms and things. But people, we, you know, this is what I'm saying. We take for granted in this country here we live in uh, America, you know. Uh, and America is getting so that a lot of people are homeless right now in America as well. But we need to understand all these things going on. We need to be helping one another is what I want to say. Helping one another in need, people. It's just really getting to be really a, a poverty all over the world. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of things are going on. And now I hear today that China and uh, India and Russia is uh, dropping the dollar. I think I was looking at that last night from Common Sense Show. And so we know it's going to get worse instead of better because we're heading towards that way. How long will it be before the coming of the Son of God, how, the Son of Man? How long will it be, people? It, you know, all the signs are showing that it's not going to be long, much longer. So we need to be understanding that we are in the end at the end. We're absolutely in the end at the end. <laughs> well, we're in the end there. That's the last of the pictures. So I will close that off for me and my husband out at Shabayo. But uh, wow, I'm just saying, you know, it's really getting to be a sad situation. A sad situation uh, where we are uh, uh, heading towards uh, the uh, this uh, the life with Christ, uh, you know, coming. Yeshua is coming soon. This is coming from uh, Randall J. Brewer. That is really amazing to me, Randall. Randall, my friend. <laughs> I was just looking for something. To, uh, the, I'm not, I'm not going to make this a long video, people. So I was looking for something to share, and I, I wanted to share this one paragraph coming from uh, Randall's Abundance of Grace and, you know, how much grace Yeshua has for all his children. And, uh, and I know I have read some of these paragraphs before, but then Randall sent me his new, his new magazine, uh, uh, second, uh, edition. And I wanted to show that with you in a minute too, but he just had flashed on my email. I mean, just that quick. Soon I miss, mentioned Randall's name. It, it, you know, I just thought that was funny. Another new, uh, information he sent me here about, uh, his magazine, uh, second edition coming out. <clears throat> Okay, uh, I'm just going to read here from Randall. It says here, life is hard when you try to do it on your own without the grace of God in your life. Your talents and abilities are not enough to do all that God has called you to do. This is why Yeshua, Jesus said in Matthew 11, 28, come to me, all, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. An invitation as sweet as this demands a fast and spontaneous acceptance. He wants you to do nothing else but come to him. For, for when you do, he'll pour his grace into your life. With grace that was once hard, now becomes easy. Yeshua continued in verse 29, 30, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Why do we always make it harder? We do. We make it harder. Uh, you know, I, I make it harder sometimes for myself. I, you know, I know Yeshua is going to, all these 
testimonies I have in my life, all these things he have done in my life, all these accomplishments he have done in my life with nothing. Like I told you guys, when I started this video, I did a video with a rich man and I never had no idea. I give up, get up one morning and the Lord said, when are you going to do a video for me? And this is how I ended up here. People, I wasn't planning to do a video. I didn't go to college for to do a video. I didn't know all these skills. You see how I've been learning. I was fumbling along the videos all the time, trying to figure out how they work. I didn't have no real expertise. Okay. And so the Holy Spirit can teach you and teach you these things, train you, show you how to do when he have called you to do things he wants you to do people. So we need to stop making it hard and follow Yeshua and he would teach us. And all also with our sins in our life, you know, when we become a born again, uh, a born again, uh, a creature in Christ. Uh, just like a lot of us became baptized. Some people became rebaptized. Some people became baptized for the first time. And, you know, we give our life to Yeshua and then we think we're going to be just perfect and, you know, not slip and fall. Don't be sadly mistaken because the enemy is always out there to make you trip and fall. Okay. Trip and fall, trip and fall. But you know, Yeshua say he, the, uh, he said that his people will rise again, but he said the wicked will not rise. The wicked will not fall. Well, uh, you know, can't fall. I mean, can't arise. The wicked can't rise. Okay. But the, his people can rise again and we need to be giving our life to him. You know, you know, when we, when we are in trouble, when we are sinning, when when we are doing whatever it, it is every day, we should be dying daily. Okay. Dying daily. And when we are sinning, we should run to him, not run away from him, but run to him. That's why we make it hard when we run away from him instead of running to him. And when the devil come and beat you down with your past and tell you all kind of things you've done and oh, you slipping again and oh, you making a mistake and oh, you're not going to, you're going to, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You know, you tell him to get behind me, Satan, get behind me. And you know, you tell him you have no future and I have hope, but you have no hope. So, you know, you need to talk to these, the, the demonic spirits to try to come around you, rebuke them, use your spiritual warfare prayer daily over your households, call the angels out when you need them. Okay. And this is what we need to do. You know, Yeshua have given us, a. Uh, uh, um, the opportunity he have given us, uh, you know, uh, the power through him, uh, to cast out demons and, and to do all these things, but we don't need to sit around and make it hard. We need to make it light. Okay. He made it. He say the burden is light. And so the message Bible says, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me and you will recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real test, a real rest. I mean, a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Okay. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. And I'm just going to end it there because I'm not going to make this a long video. And then I'm going to go up here and uh, show you uh, Randall's new uh, magazine he just sent me. He told me to share it with you guys. And and so I, I just thought that was funny because I was just talking about Randall. <laughs> and I was just showing that. And here he is again. Just showing me this new video, I mean, new uh, email he just sent me with his Destiny in Christ uh, magazine. Wonderful stuff, people. You can go to destinywithchrist.com and see uh, around those new mag magazines, okay? And you can see how wonderful and colorful it is. That is really wonderful, uh, Randall. Uh, and uh, you can go into the profile areas and see all the people who come have, see the people who have contributed to his magazine. Uh, and me and my husband as well, uh, he asked us to do a profile on there. So you can see there's some in English. Is that in Spanish? What is that, Randall? Spanish? I don't know. Uh, look like Spanish. Uh, anyway, so, you know, you should take a look at his magazine. It's an online magazine. And so uh, you just can uh, see right here how, uh, how wonderful it is. Oh, Beautiful Thoughts by Marna Campbell Benjamin. That is something new I've never seen. Oh, Randall, what are you doing? <laughs> So I guess he got something there from, from, I, I don't know. I don't even, I, I just, first time I'm seeing this people. So, uh, he says here, oh, I didn't even know that's pretty neat. And I just sent that in to him, but I just don't remember right now. Uh, wow, Randall. Okay. I have to look at that. But anyway, that's Randall. He's such a wonderful man of God. I, I mean, 
That's Terry White there, I mean, but he's such a wonderful man of God. I met Randall uh, in uh, Colorado. He visited here about last year. Was it late last year? Uh, on his vacation, and we got to go out to eat dinner and uh, talk and 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 pray together. And just and and I gave him a CD, and he gave me some things. But I just love it. I just love Randall. He's a wonderful man of God. And so uh, I just wanted to let you guys know how, what a wonderful man of God he is. Okay. So go and look at his uh, magazine, and if you got an article you want to send him. I, I will put the email address there, and he have uploads that you can get, uh, just like the, the newsletters he sent me and different things he sent me, inspirational uh, readings. You know, you can ask him to send them to you, and he'll send them to you, okay? Uh, you can uh, see, and then you can look at his magazine as well. So I'm going to end today, people. The Sabbath is here, uh, and, I, and I just love you guys so much. I've been praying for you, uh, all continuously praying with you. Uh, we know that we are going through some tribulations here soon with the world. I was just looking today about another article about this banning of the Bibles in California and how they want to make it a law. Like, you know, uh, what was that? How they make it a law? This this Bible? You got to register Bibles as assault weapons. You got to register your Bibles like assault weapons or something like that. And I'm like, What? Well, you know what? I, I, I guess we, we, we are just going to be going through this. And then one guy was suggesting that it go all over the nations, people. So, you know, everything seemed to start right in California. You notice that when the pot started in California, homosexuality started in California. I, it's always California. I don't know. But anyway, um, I want to also mention another uh, a little book here I have. Uh, I have wrote a few people uh, to receive a few of these to give out in their community. Uh, so if you uh, want to uh, talk to me about this Yeshua's Good News, Yeshua's Good News, it's a little book here, let's see, a pocket-sized book. And, uh, you know, you can give them out in your community. It's all about Matthew 24. It's talking on Matthew. I mean, it's talking on the book of Matthew. I'm sorry, the whole book of Matthew. And so you might want to uh, have a few of these to give out. And if you want some, just call me or, or write me and say, Monterey, I'd like to have a few. I did send out a few people uh, emails last night to get those out to the person who are responsible for those, okay? But I'm telling you, we need to be doing what we can while we can, people. Doing what we can while we can. And I'm just going to close this out now. Um I'm probably going to close this out with one of my uh, one of my scriptures here coming from my Bible promise book. <clears throat> and so it, it turns rat to guilt. See, it's amazing how Yahweh worked with me. He does. He worked with me. It turns rat to the page of guilt. Okay. You know why? Because a lot of us let, uh, like I was just saying a while ago, tell Satan to get behind you. A lot of us need to learn not to let the devil put guilt on us, okay, from the past, okay? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness, all unrighteousness. And that's why I say you need to do it daily, die daily. If you know you did something today stupid and dumb and crazy, just go and confess your sins to Yeshua every night. Clean, keep yourself cleansed. Keep yourself clean before Yeshua, okay? 1 John 1, 9, let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. Isaiah 55, 7. So I say, if you return to the Lord, then your brothers and your children will be shown compassion by their captors and will come back to this land. For the Lord your God is gracious and compassionate. He will not turn his face from you if you return to him. Second Chronicles 39. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us, Psalms 103, 12, okay. And then it says here, whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything, 1 John 3, 20. And that is really true. He knows everything. And you can't let nobody beat you up and put guilt on you because like he says here, for I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. So Hebrews 8, 12, I will forgive their wickedness and remember their sins no more. So don't let the devil tell you all this stuff, people. Just tell him to go away, get away, stay away, 
and uh, I rebuke you, get away from me. Okay, just tell them that every day. Every time that somebody, that these demonic spirits come around and try to whisper to you things, just tell them to get away from me. Okay, get away from me. Uh, I'm going to end this here with one last one here. It says, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Yeshua, his son, purifies us from all sin. Hallelujah. First John 1, 7. So I'm going to leave that with you and I'm going to go away and I want you guys to have a wonderful Shabbat Shalom. And I'll be back with another video. Uh, like I said, all the missionaries around the world today need lots of support. So if you feel in your heart that God is telling you, uh, Yeshua is leading you to support our ministry, Fill My Cup Ministries, you can always send uh, an offering to my PayPal account at marner.camel at gmail.com. Or you could uh, send a letter like a lot of people do, money orders to uh, Fill My Cup Ministries or Marner Camel Benjamin uh, at Post Office Box 414, Canyon City, Colorado, 81215. And I really appreciate every dime I get because it helps with all these uh, missionaries uh, out in the fields and homeless people and locally. Uh, and so we just appreciate all what you do for this ministry and also the prayers as well. As I know, I sent out a big, long uh, prayer uh, line here yesterday for I have a, a legal matter coming up on Wednesday. I would love the prayer. So uh, we just praying for Yahweh to do a miracle. So we just thank you for all you're doing for us people. And you have a wonderful, blessed, blessed, blessed Shabbat. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.